what's going on guys? It's King Urge 13. Pretty early in the morning, the sun hasn't even come up yet. We're starting concrete this morning. One thing really annoys me is when, you know, you tell people you line things up and it just doesn't get written down or, I don't know, when, whenever you tell somebody that you want something a certain way and you tell them it's important, you would think that they would either remember or think to write it down, but, you know, the ball gets dropped and so, this drain in the corner of the concrete that was supposed to be put in didn't get put in and so actually yesterday late afternoon right before hard work store closed I had to run and pick up all the materials for it and then they called me at 6 or 5 30 this morning to come and uh, put it in for them so heading over there now but uh, anyways big day getting the concrete in so we'll see how this goes I reckon so it looks like the pump truck is already here. The gravel's put down from yesterday. All right, so let me go out here and tell them where this, this drain deal is going. Same thing with this one, doing the same exact thing, blowing up this side. We got one big one of them, like a hawk. As long as they stay out of that low spot right there, right yeah, where that is. Like yeah. I got some cones at the house. You want to bring them? So, got the drains in, and I've got to go ahead to the store. We busted one of the grain uh, tops there. I'm gonna run to the store and go pick up another drain cover. But in the meanwhile, we had our first truck coming, as y'all may have seen. And from the first truck, he did okay on the on the road here. But I mean, there's one spot that's kind of sticky a little bit. So, I'm gonna run and get some cones, and then also run to the store, pick up a big heavy gauge chain so that we can use that to pull out one of these trucks if they go under got the dozer here so also got to go pick up my cat key for it uh, a lot of running around and stuff and like i was saying this morning this is the kind of stuff that happens when things aren't quite organized because for me y'all like i'm all about having things in order when customers place orders and stuff like that i'm the type of person to be able to send tracking numbers right away send out receipts send out this and that all the information that's pertinent uh, as soon as I I'm able to because I'm the type of person to not have to worry about something being missing and things like that and you know not that shipping companies don't mess up and stuff like that but it's not on our end that something's binding up I like to try to stay organized even if it takes a little bit more time because in the long run it'll save a lot of stress a lot of headache a lot of this running around and 
crazy crap and you know things happen but you try to do what you whatever you can to try to minimize that from happening all right so now we got cones fixing to put them in the soft spot over here the mats have held up all right this is the spot we're worried about as you can see right there so we're gonna set up the cones along this edge. First cone will go up here, say about right there. Second cone will go right here. Get them out of that soft spot right there. That's what I call good MOT, management of traffic. Hey, that renewed this thing. <laughs> just bought it. Oh really? I wanted to see that thing. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> How should long do that is trick. it? 20? 20 foot. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, about fourteen dollars a foot or something. <laughs> Dang it. And then I don't know. I don't even know how much the covers is worth. But they should do the trick if they get in the bind. Yeah. I would hope. Quick update, so I've got lunch coming at 11 for these guys and got some Cokes and drinks for them. All right, so we got some ice for the drinks. And here's a little life lesson that I've learned is, you know, spend a couple of hundred extra bucks, but guys, Doing things for people, you know, more than what they expect will always go a long way. So whether it's with my customers or whether it's with my contractors, like the guys out there pouring concrete and getting things all ready and stuff, I always want to make sure they're taken care of and that I do what, you know, I would like if I was in their shoes. It goes a long ways, you know, they've helped me out with a lot of other stuff. They've done a lot of extra for me that I didn't ask them to. So make sure you take care of the people that take care of you. Alrighty, got all the ice packed down. I guess I'll let some of the water out. Alright, let's go.
11.45 and it's the last truck of the day. Here she is. This is the last little bit. Love that. All right, so lunch is all eaten now, and they've got the spinny things. I don't know what they're called, but they got those going now. Pump truck's getting cleaned up. Oh yeah, we had lunch, and that was some good hot sauce right there. Pump truck's gone and everything. We hey, got the road. Back, I know when you drink. Yeah, take hey, take take two of them. <laughs> Rose looking pretty decent. I'm gonna get going. I've got to get some orders out for y'all. It's a big day for us here. Hopefully in a month or so, building will be up. And then we'll have Josh and Colby come in there with uh, family build construction and finish out the inside. Alrighty, Summer, why, why are we here? Uh, we're gonna put our hands in the concrete. Yay! Oh. Yeah, man. I guess so. This, this is like the middle. That's where the door is gonna go. Uh -huh. So, like, I was thinking, like, off to the side or something like that. Ready? All right. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. All right. Yay! <laughs> it's like fat hands. Get a nail. Here, rub your hand against mine. There you go. All right, got it. Yep. All right, let's look for a nail. I think I saw a nail. I saw a nail somewhere. Uh -huh. Screw? Yep, that'll right. work. 2 4 21. I'd write it down below it. Okay. Wait, what's this date? What'd you put? What is it? What's this date? I said two dash four. <laughs> are you writing the second? No. What number were you putting? Not four. There, I can see it. It's okay. Nice. Why is your finger making a bubble? <laughs> because I went side to side. Babe, you went so Smash the like button if it looks good. She's saying I have really fat fingers because when I was I'm just pushing, saying it looks yeah. like a balloon. Looks like your kid's turkey. Gobble, gobble. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you get the next update on the next part of our build. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.